I've recently grown a love for making electronic powered vehicles. I've made a monowheel with one wheel, a bicycle with two wheels. So the next form of progression had to be a tricycle with three wheels. So let's make a drift trike. Now these work by having very little friction on the rear two wheels. What about if I use ISTO to have even less friction? But first, we've got to make the trike. For the trike design, I took inspiration from the man himself, Mr. Furs, who does sure love a drift trike. I jumped into Fusion 360 and made a quick CAD model, which helped with the measurements while I was making this thing. My latest purchase was a MIG welder, and this project was an excellent opportunity to get to grips with it. I think he likes me. I purchased an old BMX frame from Facebook Marketplace for a couple quid. With my grinder, I chopped up the parts that would be required. For those who have seen my monowheel video, you'll be pleased to see I have a better cutting area now, as well as safety gear. The interesting techniques haven't changed though. Right, that's the down tube cut off then. Didn't make too bad a job of that. Next problem we're gonna have is the hub motor is for a rear, a rear wheel. It would have been easier to just buy a front wheel, but we couldn't find one which was powerful enough. And then to get that to fit in here, we're really gonna need to make these a bit wider. To make the forks wider, I thought I'd simply cut off the axle mounts and weld them to the outside. The excitement got the better of me though. I probably should have measured more. Oh, truth. Not to worry, I sourced another spare set of forks and it gave me another excuse to use my welder. Time to unveil my new tool, Nigel the Notcher. Well that didn't work. So we're clamping it this side, <laughs> where really this flat bit clamps at the back oh. flat bit. And then this round bit, which is the same shape as the pipe. Uh, like, like that. Uh, Notcher, take two. Locking, take three. Did you tighten it? No. <laughs> a notcher works by cutting out a hole in your object to the same diameter of a piece of pipe so that they connect perfectly together. Uh, yeah. So what's the gap going to need to be? Well, you see, because it's notch, it can be as wide as you like. If you want a tractor tyre. So I cut in the pipe to size and welded all four pieces together. It was time to see if it would fit or not. The frame making was straightforward enough. I just welded together some box section, the same size of my CAD design. Don't look too closely at the welds though. A spot more notching and the frame was complete. It was looking alright. Okay, that's the frame complete. Is uh some questionable wet wells. Uh, overall, pretty strong though. Not bad first attempt for welding. Next thing to do, I'm gonna drill out here and here for the axle, mount the bearings. I'm sure there's loads more, I can't remember what else is. The axle holds drilled and the seat mount secured. The frame was complete. All that was left was to put it together. For the paint, I went for a blue splat sort of design. I wasn't sure how the end product would look, but once it was finished, it didn't look too bad. All that was left was to fit the final electronics and drill a hole for the speed controller with some more interesting techniques. That's so perfect. No, no, no smoke. It's a good start. Turn it on. Oh, wow. Mate, it's got a colour screen. Why does it say I've done two kilometres? Because they tested it in the factory. Oh, look at that battery percentage! <laughs> <laughs> Feds are here for you. It doesn't turn! <laughs> oh no! It will do. Maybe. On tarmac. Let's go out the front. <laughs> he got a narrow door in, he got a massive opening around the corner. <laughs> That's so funny. Let's take it that way. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> you were just sitting there filming watching yeah. us. I was just like panning over to this massive gap. <laughs> 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 
the wheels coming off, look. Both the wheels are coming off. It was clear that it was needed more weight on the front wheel, so we moved the seat forward and found a nice quiet corner to test it out properly. There was one issue with this new test area. <laughs> oh, I think I need a mud <laughs> oh, no, I'm shaking from laughing. <laughs> I got anything on my face? No. Oh. Okay, we had a muddy but working drift trike. It was time to consider the ice wheels. Now, ice is strong, however, it's brittle and it can easily break. If we think the glass fibre with epoxy resin which is strong but brittle, and the glass fibres which can easily bend, together, however, they create a composite which is much, much stronger. If we apply that same principle to ice with water and sawdust, we get something called piecrete. Now, this was developed in World War II and they wanted to build a ship out of it. I don't plan on using sawdust though. Rupert here is full of stuffing, lots of little fibers. Don't worry, he's safe. I went and purchased some stuffing they use for toys and you can see it's full of these little fibers, just like glass fiber. To learn more about this new sort of piecrete, I thought I'd run an experiment. So I measured out different percentages of stuffing compared to water, ranging from 0% to 4% in weight. The plan was, was once frozen, I'd drop them from different heights and then assess the damage to see which one was stronger. Got my dinner. <laughs> okay, first up we have 0%. I really hope that one doesn't win. That's good news. <laughs> Alright, 0.5. See, what a difference already. This is 1%. But really, from 2% upwards, there wasn't really any significant damage. 1% obviously cracked a bit. You can see where it, it kind of cracked where it didn't really have the uh, enough of the stuffing. And the 0.5 kind of, again, cracked where the stuffing wasn't. It was clear that all the Pine Creek could withstand that test with no problem. We had to go higher. Hello. <laughs> right, time for the drop. This is 0.5%. Three, two, one. Bloody hell, it's strong. I was absolutely amazed how strong the pie creek was. It survived all my tests. There's only one thing left. Oh my god, that's strong. Even with a hammer, the only one I could manage to break was a 0.5%. Close on that, you can see like the fibres. How they joined together. The results didn't give a definitive answer. However, anything between 2 and 4% was plenty strong. I printed a mould with a jig that would sit in the bottom and housed some threaded bar, which would connect to the hub. Once together, it reminded me of someone. So I covered the mould with tape to try and keep it watertight. I put it in the pan as well so it wouldn't flood my freezer, just in case the worst happened. All that was left was to squeeze it into my freezer and play the waiting game. Sleep well, we'll see you tomorrow. Oh yes! It's definitely not frozen in the middle. Oh, really cold, obviously, it's ice. 
Huzzah! Oh my god! Oh jeepers! Oh no, this has not come to plan. This has not come to plan. Bloody hell. Oh jeepers. She is not frozen. Oh no. Oh, it's so cold! Oh, this has just been a disaster. <laughs> okay, a success. <laughs> Kinda. It looked good, it looked really good. Um, and then obviously it wasn't quite frozen in the middle. I imagine I'm probably gonna have to redo it. Oh well, on to the next one. For the second one, I followed the same principle, this time letting it freeze properly. However, when extracting it, I broke the mold. So these were the only two wheels I had. I thought, let's go for a test anyway. With the one and a half ice wheels on, it was time for its first test. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of working. <laughs> 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 oh, no. Look at all the <laughs> Nice hat. Okay, it might have seemed like a fail, however, the one wheel which was fully frozen held up really well. So I made two more ice wheels, using a bucket as a mould this time, and waited for them to fully freeze. Oh yes! It's like a giant calippo. <laughs> <laughs> I was my tongue was going to stuck there. I drilled out a hole in the centre for the axle to slide into, so it'd have more strength. This really showed the strength of Pycrete, to drill a one inch hole took over five minutes of drilling on each wheel. With the Mark II wheels connected, you know what time it was. Okay, ice strike. Take two. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it should have cut a hole there. The wheels are intact. Look at them, they're absolutely fine. Pie Crete is amazing. You know what's really sad? Yeah. The Pie Crete was stronger than my making. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't meant to end like this. <laughs> the wheels have outlasted the trike. They're doing fine. Oh, it's actually... One last one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what have we learnt? One, don't drill holes in structural components of your bike. Two, Pycrete is incredibly strong. And what was really interesting was two days afterwards, it still was 50% frozen because there's a lower thermal conductivity than normal ice. Now, it's something I'm really going to consider using in future projects. If you've enjoyed this wacky video and you'd like to see more like it, Hit subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching.